Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And it may be raining cats and dogs, but we still wouldn't trade this day for anything, would we? <laughs> That's right. But that does mean that we're going to make it a really quick intro. Yes. We hope that you guys will like this video of Trade Tennessee. If you do, give us the thumbs up. You didn't catch my corny pun. No, I got thing. it. Okay. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> no chance, to, uh, no time to dilly dally, right? Yeah. Here's the post office to prove it. And then the Tomahawk newspaper. How neat is that? Love it. You call it Tomahawk or Tommy Hawk? Tomahawk. Oh. I wonder how Appalachian you are. Alrighty, in just one split second, you will see right before your very eyes, Tennessee, the Volunteer State welcomes you to Johnson County. There you go. Just across the state line from North Carolina, headed toward Boone, if you go that way. Trade is actually the easternmost community in the state of Tennessee. I did not know that. Well, now you do. I do. It's also the oldest unincorporated community in the state of Tennessee. I did not know that. Well, now you do. Man, I know a lot of things here in just the first 30 seconds. <laughs> well, hopefully our viewers will too. Yeah. And trade originated in the 18th century as the Trade Gap, which was a trading post for Native Americans, pioneers, and fur traders. So they would buy, sell, and trade, I guess, in this little community, and that's how it got its name. So it has nothing to do with the trade deficit. What are you talking about? No, I'm just kidding. That's where you're getting in Is that like the stock trade. market or something? Well, it's where you get in with the uh, like Chinese and America trade, and we they send import more than they export. You're too right fancy now. for me now. I was just trying to make it a little short, quicky, little you know, funny. Joke. Yeah. Well, now, as your son told you, your jokes ain't funny. I don't know. <laughs> he ain't the only one to tell me that. Believe you me. <laughs> so. We're gonna show the now wet uh, fairground. I guess it ain't fairgrounds, no, is it? I don't think little, it's fairgrounds. It's, it's a something. festival, though. The trade days. Trade days. And we're gonna show that on a video too. Oh my gosh, you want to? You definitely want to see that. Yeah, it, it was great. So great. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. That's a perfect way to put it. Yes. And so trade days. Um, kind of celebrates that Native American heritage, don't it? Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, he's waving you on. There's no space to go around. No. Oh well. He's trying to be nice. I guess. I'm not. <laughs> so, if you saw that um, TP there, yeah, you know. Tip oh. off. TP tip off. Of TP tip off. Native American heritage will be. Yeah. A big focus of this. And we don't know where this road goes, or no. I don't, do you? No, but hopefully it'll go to somewhere that I can turn around. Well, there you go. Go right back out. Oh, you were asking if people camped out here, and there's some tents. Yeah, so. golly, literally tent, yeah. Yeah. We won't be in this weather, would you? I don't know. I like to camp. In rain? Nah, I don't know about rain. The last time I went camping, it rained. It was pretty nice. I don't like camping as much as the next guy, but I'm... You do cre not. I'm cre Well, it depends on who the next guy is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the next guy the know. next guy is very high maintenance and dramatic <laughs> yeah and creature comfort then yeah i probably yeah. the same boat but. yeah there you go <laughs> oh lordy how funny but i don't like it in bad weather because i am a creature of comfort and by the miracle of editing i turned around at eagle ridge apartments which you people don't y'all don't probably <laughs> care, care about or know or yeah, but anyways, Trey Days was really, really, really fun. I'm really glad that we did come. Shockingly fun. Like and you said, it might have to be a new routine for us. I was already thinking for next year, like, I just <clears throat> want to put it on the hit list for sure. Yes. The things we, it was right in our wheelhouse. Absolutely. And, <coughs> so if you get a chance, check it out. Yes. Getting back to trade. Getting back to trade. Um, it was located on an old buffalo trail between Snake and Rich Mountains, and it was the easiest route through the mountains to the west. So I guess that was why it was one of the places that they would stop over to trade. I'd have to assume that Snake Mountain would be named while the, the snake. The snake, it? yeah. Across Snake I Mountain. I think so too. And speaking of snake, we're just snaking our way across the road here very slowly. It's, oh, that's more like snail, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Would you say snail or snake? You're getting awful close to them, ain't you? Well, they're getting awfully close to me. They need to walk faster. Um, put a Ouija board on her. Yes, it is a Ouija board on her bag. Yeah, I'm not a fan. All right. 
You better not say that, Mont. Fly through the air and bust your windshield. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Now All that right. it's a, she sees it, she'll put a hex on me. Um. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Burn bridges so, everywhere I go. I don't know. The first English speaking people visited trade as early as 1673. Is that not amazing? 1673. Yes, and that was when Needham and Arthur expedition passed through the area. I'm not familiar with that expedition, but. No, me neither. Yeah. Now, this was an interesting little turn we did earlier. I formed that cool little thing in it. Yeah. The vehicle, but. Um, oh, I love it. It looks like an old blue hearse or That's something. That's what I was thinking, it's a hearse. And I don't know if this is, what is this up here? There's a post office to the right, but to the other right, uh, to the same right, is a, uh, it says the old school trade house, or old trade school house. Hold on, I'll back up and we'll get the angle. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that the first time. Yeah, so I don't know what this is. It looks like somebody lives here now. That's what I'm thinking, but it says yeah. trade school house circa 1920. How cool is that? Yeah, so somebody's converted that into residential, and I love it. I know, I love it. I wish too. that person that did that was me. Yeah, yeah, really. Trade's got an old feel about it, though, doesn't it? You know, like, it does, yeah. And, like, just the heels feel old. The yeah. heels feel alive with oldness yeah. instead of music. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were going somewhere. Yeah, There's yeah. There's no hot water heater out in the middle of the water. I'm not sure about that. Oh, yeah, that probably isn't good. Probably ain't heating nothing up either right now, is it? No. About trade. It's kind of neat. You see the sign Boone, North Carolina that way and Mountain City the other. So, yeah, we're kind of right in the middle of those two, aren't we? Yeah, we'll go back down to the right here for a minute. Uh, although I do see to the left a bunch of fog, which is my favorite yeah. view in the world. Oh, yeah, it is. And you see the sign for the trade festival. Yeah. We've been calling it trade days, but same thing. Yeah. And it's the 47th annual. How cool is that? No, fourth annual. Oh. <laughs> I thought my eyes were bad. I was like, 47th? That's and awesome. I was like, how have we never heard of this? I know. Uh, yeah. I just noticed that earlier. I wouldn't have even called you on it because I just, I saw, I wondered how many times I've been doing it. Oh, Lord, my eyes are awful. Now here's There's fireworks. more fireworks. As Tennessee has much more lax regulations on fireworks and so yeah. forth, so a lot of people come in here and get them out wall fireworks. Yes, out wall fireworks. North Carolina and Virginia are both a lot stricter. That makes me think of Joe Dirt. You mean to tell me you ain't got no whistling bubble? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hit that whole scene, yeah. So you're going to tell me that you don't have no black cats? No Roman candles or screaming memes? No. Oh, come on, man. You don't got no lady fingers, buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doodahs, or crap flappers? No, I don't. You're gonna stand there owning a fireworks stand and tell me you don't have no whistling bungholes, no spleen splitters, whisker biscuits, honky lighters, hoosker doos, hoosker don'ts, cherub bombs, nips and dazers, with or without the scooter stick, or one single whistling kitty chaser? No. But anyway, somebody threw a cherry bomb on my house when I was a kid. It threw me to death, yeah. Back before they were outlawed. Oh. Yeah. So, another cool thing about trade is uh, the folk song Tom Dooley. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom Dula, as it, his name looks and probably is accurately pronounced, that um, he was actually captured in trade, Tennessee. Um, he was hiding out here, and I think that I read that he worked in trade about a week before the posse from Wilkes County, North Carolina, come up here and found him. Yeah, if you don't know him from the song, which you probably, most people have heard the song, but they don't realize it's a true story. And yeah, we're going to tell that true story in a separate video. Yes. So yeah. we'll watch Hopefully out. Hopefully we've already done that. Hopefully we've already done it. If not, it's coming soon, so. Yeah. So. It's in progress. Yeah. So he had been working on Grayson Farm and he said if it hadn't been for Grayson I had if I hadn't been for Grayson I'd have been in Tennessee when he was captured in trade. Yep. But he was in Tennessee, so Yes. I don't know. 
Just right across the border there, so. Yeah, maybe he didn't even realize where he was. Boom. It's a fascinating story, though. It is a really cool story. No, yeah. he's serving the Confederate on them. I'm going to blow it. I'm yeah. Just a little don't, teaser. Don't give it all away. Okay, I won't. I won't say no more. I won't say anymore. I won't tell you who represented him in try his trial. Okay. Even yeah. though it's we'll, a good story. We'll tell that in a separate video though, so uh, be sure that you watch that one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't hiccup. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot today. So trade's tiny, as you know, and then the, mm -hmm. there's the trade fire station. Mm -hmm. It looks like all, some kind of old meal thing there. Well, we felt the need to stop at the fire station and show this old contraption. Looks like its days of use have long gone. This is some kind of meal industrial thing. You said it so perfectly. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> and don't question us, people. Yeah, just go with it. Just go with it. Pretty neat to see. And most of it just lies along. I'm not sure there's residential areas to the back roads there, but you know, trade is right along the main road here. Mm -hmm. Now, Roan Creek. Now, tell us again how did trade get its name? Because um, Native Americans and pioneers and fur traders would like buy, sell, and trade their goods. I had a joke and it fumbled it. I'm sorry. I, don't know. Oh. I shouldn't have made, dragged the back out of you. But oh anyway. my gosh. Or did I not say it right? No, I thought, I, in my mind, I figured you'd say certain things and you didn't. And it didn't. Oh. I blew it. I fumbled the bag on this one. Oh well. No, no, you didn't miss anything, trust me. Maybe next time. I was already regretting it, so. So they use profits from uh, the Trade Days Festival to improve their community center and park. And I think the trade school yeah. that we saw on the grounds there is probably now the community center, what they're calling the community yeah, center. Yeah, because we went in Yeah, we went in there and they showed they got a shooting range. They got all kinds of neat little things. I knew they had that little museum in there. A little museum. They had a little, few, few little things and yeah. we like seeing that for our community. And the beautiful grist mill that we saw. Yes, yeah, the beautiful grist mill. Um, in 2008, it had a grand opening, and most of the parts were newly constructed meal dated back to pre-Civil War. Wow. So it was really old parts they used to make a new grist mill, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's great. So, And that was beautiful. We love seeing that. Yeah, so if you didn't see that, check that video out, too. We're using this video yes. to sell a couple other videos. Yeah. And as always, we thank you guys for your support and for watching us. Yes. And for liking those videos and commenting and sharing and subscribing and everything that you do for us. Yes, we do appreciate it. We're about to head out of trade and into pretty close Mountain City, but yeah. any hows, we will. As you know. Say it. See you on down the road. See you on down the road. <laughs>